Let me go Ooh. to uh, Hanover, PA. Brie, good morning. Good morning. So this was your wedding day. What went wrong? A lot. Uh, I was 30 minutes late for okay. starters. Oh, wow. Yep. Uh, my best friend of nine years was supposed to be my maid of honor. Mm. We had actually changed all of our wedding colors around because she didn't like them. She <laughs> was then late, or she, I'm sorry, not late. She then just didn't show up to my wedding. What? And oh now she's legally my sister-in-law. Okay, so let's just pause for a second, oh, Brie. So this, this trick had you change your wedding colors and then didn't bother to show up. Yes. Okay. I'm going to say that was a sign in the marriage didn't last. Sonny, your guess. Was that a sign or not a sign? Uh, it's a sign that you shouldn't be friends with her anymore. There, yes. That is also That's true. Right. Rose, your guess. I'm going to say not a sign on the relationship. Okay. Brie, was that a sign? Are we still together? We are still happily married, yeah. but we are not friends anymore. Yeah, yeah no, no, that is yeah. uh, okay. One, one second, Brie. You are in the running. Let me go uh, in Annapolis. Tarika, good morning. Good morning. So, day of the wedding, what goes wrong? So, an hour before the service starts, uh, the pastor called us and said he was not coming. Oh, <laughs> oh no. And- hey, hey. Wait, how does that call go? Like, hey, it's uh, your pastor. I'm just not going to make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he claimed that we didn't tell him that he had to travel to the wedding, that we would come to him, which makes absolutely yeah. no sense. It's the wedding in his backyard, where most mm-hmm. weddings are done, at the pastor's place. Yeah, and the worst part was my husband is Muslim, so it's not a normal pastor. Oh, <laughs> yeah. gotcha. So it's okay. Not, it's not like we could just yeah like, get, you, get your buddy to do it. Artists. Yeah, okay. So did you guys actually do the, the service then, or what happened? Gosh. We ended up finding someone last minute, and he it was terrible, absolutely terrible. Okay. He um, basically said... Uh, that I need to, um, in a in a terrible way, said how I need to obey my husband and things like that. And my mm. husband uh-huh. was mm. him mm. while the yeah. was going on. Yeah, that I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, Tarika, uh, that was not a sign, and we're still together only because I think something that horrible day of the wedding would make you stronger. Sonny, your guess. I agree. I agree. I think okay. you guys are still together. All right, all right, Rose. Yeah, I'm going to say not a sign. Tarika. Yep, we've been happily married since May. Okay, all right. Congratulations on one second. I guess if you start that traumatically, you only go up. Right. Uh, Let me go. And beautiful Bel Air. Stacey, good morning. Good morning. So this is the bachelorette party. First of all, where are we when this happens? Uh, We are on 695 around White Marsh. Okay, and where are we going to? Uh, We were going to the power plant. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, and so what went wrong, girl? Um, The... All the lights on the dash and everything kind of turned off, and the limo basically shut itself off, and the guy pulled over, and you could see, like, there was smoke coming out from under the dash, and my sister uh, said to the guy, should we get out? And he was like, yeah, you should definitely get out. (laughs) So we were stranded on the side of 695 for about 40 minutes waiting for a new limo to come. Did did it actually catch on fire, or was it just smoking? It was smoking, and then there was, like, a little flame underneath, but not, <laughs> it didn't, like, engulf in flames, but there was definitely flames. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say that was a sign, and things have not did not work out. Uh, Sonny, your guess. I'm going to say that it was definitely a sign to be, like, I. God was like, look, I don't even need you to start the celebration. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to nip this in a bud yeah. before you even start. Yeah. PBR can't handle <laughs> yes. you guys riding the uh, bull. Let's Rose, how about you? There. I'm saying that's definitely a sign. Okay, Stacy. It was definitely a sign. Oh okay, God. all right. <laughs> you can't oh, have the no. actual fun. All right, Stacy, one second. You're in the running. Let me go. Uh, Sabrina, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so this is the day of the wedding. What goes wrong? Day of the wedding, and it was a mess. Um, <laughs> so we got there. Everything was pretty normal. We're getting ready. We had, like, a bridal suite, and then the men had, like, a groom suite that they were getting ready in. And we were, like, an hour and a half into getting ready, and it started getting kind of, like, warm in the room. So there was a fan. So, like, a fan on the ceiling. So I go turn the switch on to turn the fan on. And as soon as the fan turns on, this horde of when I'm literally thousands of wasps come (gasps) flying out of the ceiling. Oh, God. Apparently, there was a wasp 
nest living in oh, Japan, God. and nobody knew about it because nobody had turned the fan on in a really long time. Oh, God. Um, I was lucky enough to find out while the bridal suite's being taken over, me and all my bridesmaids, my um, my hair and makeup artists, we're all in there. We're literally screaming. Yeah. All of a sudden, all the men come running out. They're like, what's happening? What's happening? Um, so while the horde of wasps was taking over, we just try to like shuffle everything out of the room. I ended up leaving so many things behind, like my shoes for yeah. the wedding got left in the room. Oh, I ended man. up wearing flip flops down the aisle. <laughs> Luckily, my dress was long, so you could sure. see them. Yeah. But oh my we gosh. Left so oh. many things in there, and we just left them in there. We literally stuffed towels under the door and taped the room off yeah. because the um, venue was like, "Oh, we won't be able to get an exterminator out here till yeah. tomorrow." Don't want a my girl situation. And- you know what I mean? So they, they what, what's around. happening, right? I have a hundred people downstairs. Like, what am I supposed to do about this? So we end up getting ready in the groom suite and the groom ends up getting ready with all his <laughs> men in literally a single person bathroom. Okay. Oh, um, right. But because, because of all this, my mom and I get separated and my mom ends up getting ready in a separate space with like the rest of my family, because there's only room for me and my three bridesmaids in the groom suite. I walk uh, downstairs in my wedding dress, ready to go. Like I'm ready to walk down the aisle. Things are already a little bit late because the wasps yeah. took up a yeah, little bit of the time. whole thing. Yeah, the plague. And I walk downstairs, and my mom is standing at the end of the the steps in a wedding dress. <gasps> Excuse and me. People this story are walking. Just... Mm-hmm. People are walking up to her like it's her wedding. Like I think people were very confused, especially. Mm-hmm. People that I hadn't seen in a long time, like distant relatives. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. I later found out that she had like bogarted my photographer while we were getting ready because my photographer had to step out of the room. <gasps> um, and she had my photographer do this like weird photo shoot with her where she was like posing with my bouquet and like no. with the cake okay. and all of these yeah. things as if it was her wedding. It was just yeah. very bizarre. Okay. And, and that um, was your mom? You know, it was my mom. Yeah. It was a okay. Day. Now, Sabrina, before we ask, I'm going to guess <laughs> I'm going to guess the city you're in and you tell me if I'm right, oh okay? Oh my gosh. Okay. It, Glen Burnie. I'm in Glen Burnie. <laughs> 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 and I love the Dirty Bernie, yeah. Sabrina. But that sounds that very Glen Bernie. Um, yeah. Oh and because gosh. because it's Glen Bernie, I'm going to say even though that's insane, that was not a sign. That's just normal day in Glen Bernie, and we're still together. Sunny, your guess. Um. Yeah. Even though this was like a biblical event. Yeah. <laughs> and you Seriously. would think that. Yeah. I think you guys are still together, and you laugh about this every day. Okay. Rose, your guess. Yeah. You don't sound bitter, so I'm going to say <laughs> it was not a sign. Sabrina. Absolutely not a sign. Um, we've been together five years, happily married. Oh, and good. I forgave my mom after about two, um, <laughs> but it was it was a tough one. It definitely caused a rift in the relationship. Yeah, what yeah. an odd, can odd you, thing. Can you send us those pictures that your mom had done? Um, I'll, I'll have to see if I still have them because in the moment I was like so mad about all of it. That oh, I, I bet. Don't oh, even absolutely. know if I kept them. No, I'm I, not going to lie. Yeah, no, I understand. I, I would be around. so yeah. mad too. But uh, if you do have them, I would love to see please. them just because like WTF. Yes. Okay. Uh, Sabrina, one her, second. Her argument, her oh. argument was the dress was silver. Sure. Was yeah, no, I get for that. No, for sure. So, you know. It's close enough. Okay. <laughs> One second, Sabrina, you're in the running. As a side note, if you're a parent and you're think or anybody thinking about wearing a, a you're not the bride wearing a wedding dress, the wedding, nobody's gonna look at you and think you look amazing. They're gonna think, Oh, you're an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you I, I was looking for the biggest dumbass in the room. There it is. There the it moron is. wearing a wedding <laughs> dress when it's not their wedding. Good yeah. God. I yeah. and I'm a dude. And I know that's that's so stupid. Somebody text mm-hmm. in Glenn Burney for the win. Listen, Glenn Burney, I, I love you. <laughs> but like we all were thinking it. It was gonna be Glenn Burney uh-huh. or Dundalk. It is what it is.